on some remote place all by yourself with limited access to resources and you have to find a way to get everything now this is not the island I was spawned on believe it or not it's over there I built land bridges um, to a couple little islands around it so I could get there pretty quickly I'm gonna swim over there tonight I want to talk to you about a show on ABC Family Channel that channel has a few TV programs that I really love they have twisted and switched at birth and pretty little liars is actually very good um, a lot different than I imagined the channel to be but tonight I want to talk to you about the fosters it is a really timely show especially for teenagers well for anybody really it's the uh, main stars are a lesbian couple that take in foster children it is a cop who is played by Terry Polo and if you don't know who she is at one time she played on all those meet the Fokker movies she's the beautiful blonde what's that Ooh, spooky anyway she played on meet the Fockers and she is now Steph Foster, whose partner is her ex-husband, Mike Foster. Now, Lena Adams is her lesbian lover who is also interracial. So we got interracial um, lesbian couple who are the main characters in the show. Here's my little bedroom. They have one natural son. It's actually Steph's natural son with Mike Foster. His name is Brandon. He's a brilliant pianist. And um, then they have two adopted children, uh, Mariana and Jesus, who are constantly in contact with their biological mother, who's a drug addict named Anna Gutierrez. Actually, it was mostly Mariana. Jesus just found out recently. Now, see, I've spawned myself. Well, I didn't spawn myself. I yeah, I guess I kind of did. There's my little tiny island. That's what I was spawned onto with absolutely nothing. So I've got some trees on there. I had one tree that I knocked down and got some seeds for other trees. And I, you were on my desert island. Now I, I have a land bridge to this other tiny island over here. Um, but anyway, Mariana and Jesus also share a girlfriend. It's Mariana's best friend, Lexi Riviera, who brings up another topic very timely at this time, which is illegal immigration. Her um, parents and she are undocumented citizens. That And it comes up in this program when after Lexi Riviera and Jesus end up having sex and um, Steph gives them the morning after pill to make sure they don't get pregnant. And Lexi and her family have a falling out she runs away <laughs> and they say well we can't call the police because we're undocumented so there's another topic of, of conversation it really brings up a lot of timely issues so um, anyway not only that but then we have two foster children which is you know where it gets the name from really and their names are Callie and Jude their brother and sister and I think I'm freezing here freezing oh there we go and um, They've been through a lot together. Now, the girls, the women said they weren't going to adopt them, but they would provide a home for them as long as they needed it. Here's the third island that I stuck a couple little trees on. So when I knock them down, hopefully I'll get more seeds so I can make more trees. And, oh, one tree hasn't grown yet. There it is. Oh, and there's another one that hasn't grown. Okay, my trees really haven't grown here. So these are all the little islands around this survival island that I'm at. Like I said, I haven't been on here long, so I don't have a lot. But you may see a skyscraper pop up or maybe Dagon Alley from Harry Potter. You never know with me. Anyway, so this week, this is what happened on the Fosters. What Anna Gutierrez keeps sort of bleeding Mariana of any any money she can give her. And lately she's been saying, oh, just take something they don't need. Just find something the women won't miss. I need it. I need to go to rehab so bad. Yeah, she's right. She does. But really she's just using the money probably to get loaded. So um, Jesus says, hey, Mariana, you need to quit doing that. I'm going to convince her to go to treatment. Yeah, right. So... Um, he goes over to convince her to go to treatment. Now, as a subplot, Lena's ex-girlfriend, Gretchen, comes over um, to visit her. And they go out to dinner, and Steph meets her. And Steph actually likes her, actually more than Lena probably would like her to. And she goes, come on over, meet the family. And Lena's like, oh, my God, no. So Gretchen comes over and gets a really warm reception. Look at that beautiful sunrise. 
because she knows a ton of movie stars and Mariana's like starstruck. So she confesses to her mom's, oh my God, I have to tell you, I've been going to see Anna, my, my birth mother, and that's where Jesus is, and I don't know what's going to happen. So Steph gets Mike, her partner, and her gun and takes off. And so you go over and you see Anna's house. You go in, there's drugs laying all over the place. And then all of a sudden, bang, 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 and all these pops and flashes, the end. So that's where the Fosters left off this week. So I can't wait for next week, to be honest with you. I'm here in Minecraft again, watching a beautiful sunrise. And I hope you'll join me for another blog. But until then, stay tuned. The Fosters on Tuesday night. ABC Family Channel, if you can believe that. Have a good weekend. The weekend's coming up, so enjoy yourself. Bye now.